Good day, ma'am. We are the presenters of Corona Virus Group, made by Juaniza Izzy Nicole, Minardo Jesus, Nali Jean Samuel, Padua Kaila Marie, and Serena Sgergi. First is the origin of the name of Coron. The first settlement in Coron, Palawan, was established by Don Nicolas Manlavi. It was initially at Banwang Lage or Old Town in present-day Banwang Daan in Coron Island. Coron was registered as a town in 1902. It is also the time when the name of town was officially changed from Penon de Coron to its current name, Coron. History of Coron The primary inhabitants of Coron were the Tagbanwas. Um, during this time, Tagbanwa pa rin po yung kadalasang nagbabantay ng Coron. They are also called Guardians of Coron. They belong to the secondary wave of Indonesians who transferred to this area 5,000 years ago. Most of them were nomadic, meaning to say that they are the people who depends on sea and travels the sea, living mainly by catching fish and subsistence agriculture. Even though they are now modernized, they still maintain their old practices and traditions. As of these days, Koran's highest population is composed of Tagbanwas. From 1939 up, up to the outbreak of World War II, Koron experienced the increase in mining exports. Occupations were shifted from ag agricultural field into mining. In July 1942, the Japanese army dominated the mining camps and continued operation of the manganese mines. On September 24, 1944, American warplanes sunk the Japanese ships in Koron waters. These shipwrecks are considered as tourist spots of this, as of these days. Ito po yung laging pinupuntahan na diving spot ngayon sa Koron. Yung mga lumubog po na barko. In 1947, a new technique which is known as large-scale deep fishing was introduced to the people of Koron. This was the time when Koron experienced the fishing boom or the rise in fishing. Like, doon po dumadami yung mga huli nilang isda. Nagkakaroon po ng increase sa catch nila and production. The population of Koron also increased. On June 17, 1950, a separate municipality from Koron, Busuanga, was officially created. While in 1954, it was further reduced because the of the creation of Linapakan, also a municipality under Koron. In 1992, Koron was reduced again by the official creation of municipality of Kolyon. Looking into the past, Koron was virtually not known outside of Palawan. It stays as a small town where fishing is very popular. A town that is continuously gr growing and getting more exposure to the media. Kasi po ngayon, um, laganap na po sa social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, yung different tourist spots sa Koron. Kaya marami na rin po yung pumupunta dito. In the past 10 years, there has been a fast increase of scuba divers and tourists going in, making the making tourism the primary industry player in Koron today. Koron is politically subdivided into 23 barangays. Banuang Daan, Bintuan, Borak, Buenavista, Bulalakaw, Kabugao, Tecabobo, Decalachao, Guadalupe, Lahala, Malawi, Marsilia, barangays 1 to 6, San Jose, San Nicolas, Tagumpay, Tara, and Turda. Now that Koron is visited by a lot of people, many ethnic groups can be found there. These are the Cagayanen, Tagbanwa, Palawanyo, Taout Bato, Molbog, and Batak tribes. Visitors of Koron will most likely hear about the Tagbanwa when they are island hopping or scuba diving. To them, lakes and other bodies of water have their own legend. And as the guardians of their ancestral land, it is their responsibility to protect both the visitors and the land clean. And this is the tourist destinations of Koron Palawan. The first one is Cagayan Lake, 
one of the primary Koron tourist spots. It is also known as the cleanest lake in the Philippines, and other people also consider it as the cleanest lake in the whole Asia. This lake is surrounded by limestone formations. The second one is Twin Lagoons, also called as the Hidden Lagoons. It is composed of two tiny lakes that was formed in sand limestone cliffs that meet the beautiful turquoise water. When the tide is low, the surface of the water lays below a beautiful limestone archway, where you can swim through the other lagoon. As you swim, you'll pass through warm and cold spots that just add the strangely wonderful experience. Next is Barracuda Lake, considered by many as one of the best scuba diving spots in Palawan. It is a combination of fresh water and salt water, causing the temperature shifts from cold to warm. Next is Malkapuya Island. It has fine white powdery sand. This beach can be booked exclusively so people who can afford it can enjoy the beach all by themselves. Next is Coral Garden. It is a home of rich aquamarine bio biodiversity. Anemones, clownfish, and many different types of fish can be found there. This spot is best for snorkeling and scuba diving. It has a special feature which is a 131 feet diving spot surrounded by reef, reef life with crystal clear water. Next is Siete Pecados. From the Spanish word Siete, this spot was mainly named because of the seven limestone formations in there. The next is Mount Tapias. People can see the panoramic view of Coron and watch the sunset at the top of this mountain. At the top, you can find giant cross and huge signage that spells Koron. The next spot is Kalawit Island Safari, one of the most popular tourist attractions in Koron. Kalawit Island Safari has different types of animals like giraffes and zebras. People can also feed the animals and it is a very fun thing to do. Next is Skeleton Wreck. This part of Koron is composed of shipwrecks caused by the World War II. The shipwrecks made an amazing combination with the coral reefs that caused it to be an amazing tourist attraction. Number 10, Bulog Dos Island. This island has a sandbar and amazing surrounding tropical views. The sand is perfectly fine and white so tourists can enjoy walking there and lay on the sand to capture their Instagram worthy photos. Next is Banana Island. Watching the sunset by the beach is one of the best ways to enjoy the R Island tour. This spot is known to have the best view of the sunset. Then, Makwinit Hot Spring. One of the best ways to relax is to have a dip in a hot spring. Natural salt water is one of the, thing, one of the things that made this hot spring unique compared to usual hot springs, which is fresh water. Kasijan Festival, celebrated every August 28th, is a Thanksgiving celebration held in Koron for all the blessings that they receive in honor of their patron saint, San Agustine. The festival is expressed through cultural presentations, sports events, and other activities. An issue of Koron is the lack of tourism income due to COVID-19. Koron is dependent on tourism, and that is why the pandemic lockdown affected them negatively. In 2018, the tourism receipts of Goron amounted to 83 billion pesos, and the temporary closure of Goron's tourist spots hurts it, its economy. Thousands of families who depend on community-based sustainable tourism has been affected by the pandemic and lockdown policy in the province. 